right now we're on 417. I'm just trying to. Yo, what's going on YouTube? I honestly forgot to record all day today. I do apologize for that. It's been a, you know, a real hectic day. But as you can see, we're in a U-Haul truck. We're on the way right now to, well, what's gonna be my new home. It sadly isn't a house. I couldn't get a house, unfortunately, but we had to go, you know, the second best thing and get an apartment. I did move in with my boy, Jeremy. We're gonna have a, you know, a fun time and everything like that. Right now we're driving over to the apartment and it's kind of bad that I'm driving and recording. So let me just... Yo, so crazy thing is, I actually didn't come here before we even got the place, so I honestly don't even know what it looks like, you know, firsthand. Jeremy came here and checked it out first. But no, so far, so good, man. The only thing I'm looking for is them speed bumps, because, oh, man, can't deal with those. So far, so good. It doesn't, you know, show any signs of huge speed bumps anywhere, because y'all know we can't deal with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the apartment later on and we actually got a garage for the car. I'm gonna save that for whenever we actually do get the car because right now the kit is getting done and man, the videos and everything that I've seen so far are just completely insane. Can't wait to go ahead and show you guys everything but for right now, I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up everything, sign all the paperwork, so let's go ahead and see how this turns out. Imagine. What's going on you guys? Today is the day that we're actually gonna go ahead and leave the car with the kit at the shop. But like I said, we have the kit ready to go. Honestly, I the main part that I wanna see on the car will be the side skirt, just cause no one's running these right now and I really wanna be the first one to have them on the car. And then also what I'm mainly excited about is the conversion of the front lip. We're gonna actually bondo it together with the front bumper. So it's gonna all look like one piece. I'm, I'm honestly too excited to go ahead and talk anymore about this, but man, I just wanna take this car over. We're, you guys gonna drive along with me on the drive over there. We're actually gonna go ahead and record that drive just because it's gonna be the last time driving the car before the kit's on it, so. But I'm honestly way too excited to go ahead and continue talking about the kit. You guys already know what I have. You guys, you know, been with me since day one. Right now, I got my godbrother behind me just to take me back home just because I won't have a car. But other than that, I do hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so we got the kit inside the car. Gonna go for that drive now. Honestly, this is the last time you guys are gonna see this car without the kit. Oh, it's been so long. We've been really praying for this moment to come in, but it's finally here, you guys. This is gonna be honestly one for the books. I can't wait till it's done. Let's go for this drive. All right, you guys, so this is the last time we're gonna see the car without the kit. We actually brought it to the shop pretty late just cause I had a ride with a donut. It has the three piece wheel on right now, but with the donut i had to put it on just because this one's leaking air but they kind of need the wheel to bring it into the shop you know a lot better so put it back on so they can ride it pretty smooth inside yo i haven't seen this car in a minute yo on the donut and everything man pulling up to the shop right now you guys just to see the kit the kit is done we're picking it up Oh man, I can't wait to show you guys how it looks. Yo, I'm honestly speechless right now, guys. This kid is insane. I'm gonna go ahead and take some a couple cinematic shots for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, I'm honestly just, I, I'm at a loss of words. pushing Bentiaga, yeah, the truck. If you boys really want drama, I'ma tell they ass pull up. I don't fuck with many niggas, so I keep the hammer tucked. I just really want the bucks. Bucks. I don't need to say too much. Much. My guns are 30, it's a slut. Yeah. Oh, the car. 
car kind of got caught on fire. Um, and man, I got a video. My boy that's helping me right now, he got a video of the car that's that when it was smoking. So he's gonna go ahead and send that to me. I'm gonna show you guys the clip right here. Right now, uh, a nice road service guy stopped on the side of the road to go ahead and give us some air. So I'm just gonna, go, you know, fuck, I can't even talk. We're gonna go ahead, put some air on, take this car home, man, because the fact that it just almost got lost today. Guys, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go big camper, just make sure everything's good and everything's okay. I mean, I only had a spare on that had way too big of a tire and it was rubbing the whole way through. So honestly, Make sure you guys are riding safe if you guys are gonna do this lifestyle. It honestly takes a lot of work and patience to make the, these builds right. Yo, so you guys can see the struggle that I have right now. We got one, two, three donuts on this car right now, man. And it's just for a six minute drive. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna get this car home one way or another. You guys already know we always make it. Um, if you guys are gonna do this lifestyle, man, just make sure you guys get everything right. Make sure you build everything right. Cause honestly, this car almost got lost today and honestly, it felt like my life flashed before my eyes, man. Even though I wasn't in the car, I was safe. But seeing this car catch on fire, man, kind of, you know, tore a little bit inside my heart. So I'm gonna get this car home safe. I'll get you guys later with an update. All right, you guys, so I know this video has been all over the place. It's been a lot of things that have changed for the past month or month and a half in my life. Honestly, to moving, to getting my car situated, to getting the body kit all done and ran out of time. You know, it happens whenever you're preparing for a show and things don't really go your way and it is out of your control. You got to do what you can to be able to get your cars done. And unfortunately, it was all out of my control why I couldn't get this car finished. That's another story for another time. I honestly just want to go ahead and show you guys the car with the kit. Semi on. The side skirts aren't going to be fully on just because I do have to take off the uh, little side splitters that are, I already had on the car. But other than that, man, I just want to go ahead and show you guys really quick how this car is right now and how it's currently sitting. Just need a few more things, guys, so bear with me. But honestly, just enjoy the view, man. <laughs> all right you guys well here the car is it's been a long time waiting for this kit to get done um had a bit of an issue with the first shop that wanted to go ahead and do it their main uh tech or main guy main body shop guy was on vacation he couldn't get back in time to go ahead and fix the car or to finish the kit but we went ahead and found somebody else yo shout out to my boy victor for being able to get this kit done man honestly i am so happy with the way this thing came out i really just wanted the front lip and the bumper to be one piece and he honestly just did an amazing job with it man honestly just couldn't ask for any better and even with the side skirts the side skirts came in half as well managed to put it all man managed to put it in one piece as well nice flawless perfect and then also with the rear bumper technically you're supposed to get the oem bumper from the base models to be able to fit nice and snug with the rear lips i just went ahead and told them to just mold it with the si bumper just because i didn't want to wait for a base model bumper to come in super excited for this car to be finished we got the hybrid mirrors as well that you guys can see right here and then from earlier in the video, I honestly cannot believe we got this car here. The way it drove after that fire was honestly really good with the three spares or the three donuts. Oh man, I can't believe we managed to save the car. We did everything we could just to get it back into this garage. And honestly, I couldn't be any happier with how this kit just came out, man. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and share it with a friend. Let them know this Civic is going to be out soon and running, and it's going to look glorious. And remember, if you guys have a grind, go ahead and grind it out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.